everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to put a card down for the day for us. Um, on this gloomy Wednesday, it's very, very gloomy here in, in London. This is the lovely view we've got going on. Nice grey day. Okay, so I'm going to have a little shuffle. And put down a Faulkner Tarot deck card for the day. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit croaky today, so forgive me in advance if I'm a bit sneezy and croaky. I just feel like I've got a little bit of a cold on at the moment. Okay, so, the card I have for us today is Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is um, kind of really a card of needing to make a choice or needing to make a decision, okay? So, it's about you um, maybe have coming to a point where there's, there's, there's no... There's no way forward, so you've got to either choose left or right. Um, it's, a, it's a process that needs to be gone through. You know, quite a lot of us come to that point in our lives where we've kind of been going along, going along, going along, knowing that at some point there's got to be a choice, there's got to be a decision, but we kind of put it off until we feel ready. And it's like anything in life, you know, you can't you can't make those choices until you feel ready to make them. Um, but what the Two of Swords says is that it kind of, that, that life's going to put you in a place where you really do have to choose which way you're going to go, whether you're left or whether you're right. Um, it just feels like um, like you're at a bit of a crossroads and there's a need for you to decide. Um, the Two of Swords are thinking cards. Um, the Swords are, sorry, this can't get my words out properly at all today. The Swords cards are thinking cards, so they're thought processes. And this card asks you to really consider where it would be best for you to go. Um, so it is a process that you need to um, go through in your head. So it's a, it's a kind of thinking card. It's like I'm quite drawn today to this um, little piece of the card here. So as you can see, the card in general has two paths. They're leading into one. There is a sort of cross here, which is just as a crossroads. Um, there's a, there's an energy of I'm kind of not sure where I want to be going. Um, it's really interesting because this part of the card to me um, looks like one of those maps that you get. You know, if you're out on like a country walk or in a country park, you quite often get a map saying um, take this path to um, the pond, take this path to the... Um, play area all that kind of stuff so um these these signs are you know important and i think that what this card says to you is that if you're not clear in your mind ask for signs see i i'm really drawn to it today sometimes i'm not so much sometimes i'm drawn to other things but today i'm really drawn to that so the cards to me is saying if you're not sure which way to go, look for the signs. Ask for some signs. And, that, and you will be shown some signs of, of what's best for you. So I'm just going to pop down Oracle cards to go with this. Um, so Two of Swords is asking us to make some decisions, make some choices um, today. And let's just see what we've got with the Oracle cards to go with this. Okay. Oracle card. Oh, I've pulled out two together. Interesting. So, the first one that I saw that I'd pulled out is have courage. Okay. So the the card here is saying we've got some choices and decisions to make, and this card's saying we might need to be quite brave to choose our path, um, because the lion is it's a little bit like the strength card not completely but a little bit like the strength card um in the tarot but it, it asks us to just be brave and go for it you know sometimes we faff about over decisions and they take us forever 
and and you know we we kind of oh shall I oh shall I oh I don't know right I do nothing then and that's fine sometimes to sit in that energy if we're really not sure of not doing anything but there comes a time where you you usually have to make some kind of decision for yourself so be brave is the energy and the other card that I pulled out with that is the know your power card um so again it's saying to you you have what you need to make this decision you can do it you you have the power you are if you're if you sit in your own energy and trust you can do it you will have the all you need there to be able to make the right choice for yourself so you know I, i'm really drawn to the animals as well because you know we've been working a little bit with animals this week um know your power is the horse the horse is the horse talks about freedom and and all of those things but the horse the horse is powerful and strong um and and the lion is too so we're kind of looking at quite strong powerful energy for us today what i will do is uh, at the risk of overpowering us with with animals or overloading us with animals i will put down um one of the power animal cards as well because we said we would work with them this week so i've got the two swords all about decision making time to make a choice look for the signs um the have courage and the know your power cards from the oracle deck that's the messenger oracle deck it's by ravine Phelan. um if anybody wants to have a look at that card, that deck it's lovely it's a really lovely deck um it's got a lot of animal energy it's also got quite a lot of pagany sort of stuff um associated with it so it's, it's nice um it's a really nice different deck to work with so let's have a look and see what our power animals got to say today see if we can have some more animals it's really interesting i've just um it seems a bit overpowered with animals at the moment but i've just been watching some videos on youtube of um somebody that i subscribe to has been out filming some baby tigers and they were just gorgeous so playful and just beautiful beautiful energy um so i kind of feel like animals are really important at the moment there's um there's a lot of animal stuff animal energy um so that there's a lot of of really really good energy um i've also been using um rianne faulkner's book um sorry rianne faulkner's book um messages from the from the animals kingdom or signs from the animal kingdom um i use that book quite a bit when i'm sort of if see animals all over the place and i want to know what they mean um she's the lady who produced the black and white Faulkner deck, as you probably all know. Um, she also has this book, uh, which is Signs from the Animal Kingdom, um, which I use quite a bit. So if you're drawn to animals, that's quite a nice book to have around. Um, I just keep it on my coffee table. And if I see an animal that I see to be drawn to or, you know, there's, there's an energy of, of something that I feel is related to animals, um, quite often it happens that you just keep seeing recurring animals and a and, um, bit like the recurring numbers thing, the angels, the angel numbers like double one and double two and all of that. Um, animals do the same thing sometimes. So I always look it up. Um, I look it up in here. Um, I also go with my own intuition on what that animal means to me because although this book will give you like lots lots of different meanings it's always important to take your own feelings on that animal into account too so that's quite a useful book sorry got a little bit sidetracked so here we go with our animal oh lovely um lovely lovely lizard lizard is fine i really like these little creatures i really like those ones that you see you know if you go to florida or somewhere like that or you go somewhere hot there's all those little sort of gecko type little baby ones that zip about all over the place um they're really cute um so the lizard says pay attention to your dreams and visions so we've already had here the two of swords saying watch out for the signs okay you might need to make a decision but you are not making that alone you can be brave you can step into your power 
but the signs will be there so that you make the right choice for yourself um so all these cards linking together really were rather well today so expect to be in an energy of needing to make some choices need to make a decision but know that you have all the support around you that you need to make that choice so don't be worried about it be brave and go for it follow your heart follow your power um yeah i would leave that with you i think for today i don't think there's that much more to say about all of those um just yeah just kind of go with what you feel is right for you i suppose is the is the best possible guidance i can give you um I'll leave it with you for today and I'll be back again tomorrow to do another few cards for the day and see what we get given tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.